Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the Shaw Customer Service Awards 2016. And uh, so many people have done so many things to really deserve to be here tonight. Win or lose, they're all brilliant. Now, this is the sixth year that the awards have been running and it's great to see some brilliant people here today. There's some old and familiar faces, but also some brand new faces here tonight. And on behalf of the awards founder, all the supporters and Ireland FM, we'd like to say a big thank you for coming to support the finalists on this big day. You know, some of the nominations are just fantastic. All three finalists have been wonderful. Um, and some of them really stood out as giving such good customer service. It's a credit to Guernsey. And the winner is Nick Young. Hey, congratulations, Nick. Well, customer service is the main attraction, isn't it? Because if it wasn't for the customers, you wouldn't have a business. Uh, and now we've got a business and we, we, we work hard to make all the customers happy. So, yeah, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm in shock, I'm in shock, I'm in shock. We've been involved since the very beginning and you know, it's a great pleasure to be involved as well. And great to be surrounded by so many great service providers. Who is our winner tonight of Self-Employed? Good luck everyone, the winner is Tracy Goggle. Way! Well done Tracy! I mean I've had a lot of feedback through um, obviously Facebook and the social media and everything and I've already got uh, well done on online which is great. Um, just oh, totally amazing. I'm, I'm blown away by it really. Well um, customer service has to be at the heart of everything we do um, and um, sponsoring the team award there's nothing quite like the feeling of uh, a successful team and seeing a, a happy customer leaving our shop knowing that everybody has played a part in delivering uh, that customer service excellence. Well they're my bank and I think they're fantastic Lloyd's yeah. TSB. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> is all about good customer services. We obviously have three areas in Guernsey Post which we deal with the customers. Frontline posties, um, our retail office and then also our collection department. So we have a very keen interest in making sure there is good customer service all the time. Uh, well I'd like to congratulate everybody for getting to this stage but especially Sue Mayler from being q Congratulations Sue! It feels great. That means I'm doing the great service at work for them to nominate. They recognise the work I do. It's really, really important as a small island that we can bring people to the island just by giving great customer service. So it's really, really important, guys. Spread the word. I know you've hit the pinnacle of your career in Guernsey <laughs> when you're on the back of a Guernsey bus. So. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. This year again, I think it's a, it's a, a double whammy. It's Joe Hyden. Congratulations. <laughs> Be nominated for doing what I feel comes naturally um, is a lovely feeling. Um, it's something that I do day in, day out without even thinking about. So being able to, to put that across and make, make a difference to people, fantastic. I'm proud to say the winner is a proud example of our culture and our heritage and it goes to the Occupation Museum. Oh. Oh. Big round of applause, Richard Sherman, the Occupation Museum. I started in the 50s, soon after the Germans left. And I collected stuff from the farm and of bunkers and people's houses. Uh, and tunnels. Once I was actually trapped in a tunnel when they were sealing it. So I'm lucky to be here tonight. <laughs> he has such a wide range of amazing food, cuisine and extremes. We have food in the mayor, we have your, your bistros. I think we have a sport choice in Guernsey. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. And I'm very proud to announce the OGH. Congratulations! Customer service is very high on the island. I mean, unfortunately, I go back in France sometimes to see my family, and it can be in England or can be in France, is no service anymore. Uh, Guernsey, anywhere you go, any restaurant, any hotel, any bank, any, any places, you're still having service, and that's very rare now. Very, very rare. Congratulations, gentlemen, to all three of you. I'm proud to the winner is Mark Rockway. Congratulations, Mark. I was incredibly flattered to receive it. Um, it kind of came out of the blue and it's an award for basically giving a great experience to a couple of visitors to the island. Uh, I just feel that it's so important that sort of everyone who comes to these islands gets a great reception and gets shown the island. I think anybody that gives up their time uh, volunteering should be applauded. I think it's something that's close to us as a company. We give all of our team members volunteer days throughout the year. So I think it's, uh, it's just something that's fantastic for anybody to be celebrated. Uh, I think we all agreed that the winner is Michelle. Michelle, congratulations! Michelle from the GSPCA, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think customer service is the most important thing. I mean, I'm self-employed and um, yeah, I just think customer service is like the, the, the biggest thing people should be concentrating on and, uh, and then everything kind of emanates from there really. But the key thing about this award is, is for the whole of the business. It's not just one area, it's the perception that everybody sees about your business. And that's the key thing, because it's the customer service that makes your business better than your competitors. Mm. Without that, you're lost. So the best purveyors of sausages in Guernsey <laughs> are the Pharrell Butchers. Hey! <laughs> I think with um, the ongoing issue of the internet, I think we have to be really amazing to, you know, I mean, customer service is a key element. We can't always compete on prices with the, uh, with the internet, but we can't beat them on customer service, so it's important, yeah. So tell us what it meant to you last year when you won this award. Um, it meant absolutely everything to me. Uh, if I'm honest, it was, and still is, a bit of a mystery why I won. Um, and to be not only nominated, but also to win was, was an incredible feeling, and it's still something that I have to pinch myself to believe, really. Um, we're in a lovely little community, and customer service means absolutely everything. We need to be able to, to look after each other and look after ourselves. So being able to give good service consistently, um, not just the one-offs, is absolutely imperative to a small community like ours. You know, in a very highly competitive world, and, and every aspect of what we, we are here in Guernsey is competitive at the local level, We've got to attract customers. You can only do that by giving them the greatest experience they can possibly get. And even at the, the international level where we attract tourism, there's so many other jurisdictions out there that they have choices to go to. And if we don't give them that great experience, A, they won't come, B, they'll tell other people not to come, and C, we lose, really, the great opportunity to keep growing the social economic development of this country. So, you know, it is really at the top of everything we do to give customers that unique experience that brings them back. The overall winner of the 2016 Customer Service Awards is Perel Butcher. Really, it's a, it's, it's a reward for the amount of work that we put in and the amount of work the customers come down to us and they demand the best quality and the best service. And a reward for our staff And a reward well. for our staff. For their hard work. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like um, all the winners to come back to the front of the stage for some photos now. This is your moment in the limelight, your moment of glory. I think for an island the size of Guernsey, it's essential. We cannot survive unless we offer a service that is friendly, passionate, warm and welcoming. And that's not just for visitors actually, that's for our fellow islanders. We need to be warm and welcoming and approachable at all times. And I think, you know, how lucky are we that we live on such a great place, so we should be passionate about what we do when people come here. The support is growing year on year. I can't fault the local business environment because without their support we couldn't run these awards. So huge thanks to Shaw, our partnering sponsor, and all the other sponsors this year. It's just a lovely event. And when you get so much negative on social media, and let's face it, it can be dangerous, it's just lovely to redress the balance and reward people for doing a very good job.